All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to get UTM tracking data into Infusionsoft. Typically, this is gonna be done from an online ad, uh, Google or Facebook for the most part. Um, so the idea is going from the online ad to WordPress to Infusionsoft. So those are the tools you're gonna need. First, let's go over what a UTM is, what it means. UTM stands for Urchin Tracking Module. It's created by Google. Um, each one has two parts, the parameter and the value. We'll go into more detail on that in a little bit. Um, so Google has created, since Google created, they've got their standard boilerplate uh, list of parameters. They are source, medium, campaign, term, and content. Uh, term and content are optional, but the other three are required when creating these. Most online tools you'll find um, will require those first three. Um, generally, um, you can see what parameters there are. They don't have to be UTM parameters. Um, those are these five specific ones. Uh, but they uh, will be after the question mark in the URL, and we'll look at that here in just a minute. And uh, just know that you can create your own. Just Google UTM URL builder um, or anything really like that. Uh, Google URL builder will be about the same thing. You'll find examples of tools out there that will let you create them. There's no cost to any of them that I've ever seen. Um, so here's an example. So you can see here, this first part here is the URL, and then there's a question mark. Oops, I hit a little fast. Um, and all this gibberish back here are tracking parameters. So let's look at that broken down. So there's that base URL. That's really all you need, all the rest of this stuff. You know, if you're sharing a link online, it's got all these stuff after the question mark. You can just get rid of it if you're sharing it with somebody, because that tracking data doesn't really apply to how it's being shared at this point, so you don't need it, um, and it makes the URL shorter. So these are the five we're talking about, and you can see here we've got the source being Facebook, the medium is cost per click, or CPC, the campaign is called Launch Deal, um, and then the term that, um, that was targeted is how to split test, so this is more specific to Google, where you specify the search terms that your ads will show up for. Um, and then UTM content, and you just basically something descriptive about the ad. Um, you don't need that, or it could be a you know whether you're doing a white background on the ad or a red background, just something to let you you know help you tie it into the rest of the things. Uh, so requirements for what we're doing today: uh, you obviously need Infusionsoft to create the web form, uh, a WordPress site. There's the plugin that you're going to need called URL Params, uh, created by an awesome dude named Jeremy Shapiro. Um, he's been very helpful in the past when I've had questions about the plugin. It's it's simple, relatively simple to use, but it can be very complex. He's built it very robust. Um, and then Google Ads or whatever uh, platform you're going to be using. Um, and so let's get right into it. The um, and I'm going to jump back and forth from here to Infusionsoft right now. So we've got the first thing we're going to do is create a custom field in Infusionsoft for each parameter that you want to store. In Infusionsoft. Now keep in mind you don't need to store these in Infusionsoft. They are already, if you're creating the UTM parameter links and, and you have Google Analytics set up, they will all be tracked in very smartly in Google Analytics and I highly suggest you be your, that you use that if you're not already um, and just uh, figure out what you can do with it. It's pretty powerful. Um, and uh, just a quick note, you might consider adding UTM uh, underscore to the name of the custom fields just makes it easier to find if you have you know a hundred custom fields finding them in a, in a list if they're not all in the same place in the list it can be a pain so that's just a little organizational help um, so let's go create that custom field in Infusionsoft and if you don't know how to do that well this will be pretty quick for you to learn uh, so you're going to go into the admin settings like I just showed uh, then you're going to go right here to custom fields, set up custom fields for contact. That should be already selected. And we're going to go add a new field. And I'm going to click add. And the since we are going to be grabbing, let's see if I saved it. No, I didn't save it. Um, since we are going to be grabbing the UTM source, that's what we just add that here. That's what we're going to track in this one. That's the only one we're going to do in this example. So I'll click Save Field, and you can see here it shows up down here, UTM Source. That's all for this step. Pretty easy, right? Um, the next step is to create the web form. Um, so if you already have a web form, you can add these to an existing web form. Super easy. 
or you create a new one in this, in this example, we're just going to do something fresh. Um, and then once we've done that, we're going to add a hidden field for each custom field that you want to, that you, we created in that last step. Obviously we just created the one and I'll show you how to do that. And let's jump back to the fusion soft. We're going to go into campaign builder. We're going to create a new campaign and, um, Can't have anything called untitled, so I'm going to give it a name here. I'm going to save that. And we're going to start just by dragging out this goal here. And really that's all we're going to do in this thing. Um, so let's call this, you can see I've already done this before, UTM group tracking web form, submits a web form, and then we're going to click save. And as you probably know, it's already going to be pre-filled with the name and email address function already created. And we're going to go to field snippets and grab this hidden field right here. Drag that right here. Now what this is going to do, it's going to be a field that's hidden. No, but the, the end user cannot see it. I'm sure most of you know this, but some of you probably don't. Um, and But it will be filled in regardless. It's there. They just can't see it. And it's going to be filled in. What's going to happen here is the plugin that we're going to um, have in here in a few minutes is going to um, drop this into place. It's going to grab it out of the URL and put it into that web form that they are going to presumably submit to get their um, information. And when they opt in to your ebook or whatever it is you're giving them. And so we know it's called UTM. So there it is, UTM source. And leave the field value blank. Hit save. And that's it. Except you got to make this uh, ready. You need to go back to the campaign couple extra steps you gotta do. You gotta publish this. It's gonna tell you that things aren't connected because there's only one thing in here. Um, there's nothing connected to it, but that's okay for this example. And so now we're gonna go back to edit, double click this guy here and go over to code. And in this example, we're just gonna use the unstyled code. And you can see here as we have this listed in here, right? I created this before, so it's got a zero after it now, but yours will probably not have that zero. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just what the field that, how Infusionsoft tracks the field. So anyway, we're gonna grab this code and move on our merry little way. All right, so here we are. Uh, we've created the web form, and now we're gonna jump over to WordPress. And basically, we're gonna take that code and add it to WordPress. Uh, we need the plugin in place first, so uh, let's go install that plugin real quick. I can show you where that is. It's uh, pretty easy to find. Go add a new plugin from the admin side of things. Just look up your old params. You can see here it is, Jeremy, Sh Jeremy Shapiro's. It's got 4,000 installs so far. So we're going to install this in here. Uh, let's get that. All right, now let's install. We activate it. And I highly recommend you looking through the uh, instructions on this. It's pretty powerful and you can use it for a lot more things other than what we're doing here. Um, so pretty cool stuff you can do there. And so now we've got the plugin installed. Let's go create a... Um, Let's see, let's do a let's do a new page. All right. And so we're going to go to the text mode. We're gonna jump back into Infusionsoft. We're gonna grab this now that we know where we're gonna put it. We're gonna paste it in here. And now we're going to edit this field, this uh, web form code. And what we need to look for is this value null part. And we're going to replace that with this. There we are. And so what this is, let's go back to the document here real quick. And so we've replaced value equals null with the uh, URL param short code. And you can read the instructions and figure out how to create them, but I've created this one for you. You can use this. Um, and so what it's going to do is going to look in the in the uh, URL for anything that is that comes after UTM underscore source. 
And if we go back uh, to the example, let's see, here we are. So you can see here, here's the example. We have UTM underscore source. In this case, it's Facebook. And so it's going to grab, um, it's going to look for this right here, and it's going to say, all right, that parameter um, is here. So we're going to grab what the, the variable associated with it, um, or the value associated with it, which is Facebook. And it's, we're going to dump it into the field. We're going to basically replace this entire shortcut with that. And so if you look um, back to here, you can see here's that code. So it's going to grab that and put it, it's going to replace this whole bit with that value. So basically it'll say value equals and whatever in this case Facebook. And it's going to put that into the uh, field. When they submit, it'll show up as into their custom field in Infusionsoft. And so let's go see what that looks like now. Uh, we have to publish that page. And let's go. It's going to be ugly because it's unformatted. So there we are. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the example I gave earlier. Way back here. And I'm going to take everything after the, after this slash right here. I'm going to take this question mark and everything after that. And I'm going to paste that into the URL I'm on right now. And so you can see there's that UTM source Facebook that we're trying to grab. It's in there. And I'm going to reload the page with that URL. So hit enter. And you can't see it now, uh, but if we went in and made that field unhidden, it, you would see it and it would have that data in there. So let's just say, um, I'm going to, this is a thing I do all the time is uh, I use the name delete me so that I can go find these later, these test things, um, and make them go away in the Infusionsoft app since I don't want them cluttering things up. And so I hit submit. And there's the uh, generic, lovely um, Apple Orange great company page that I left as default. And so now let's jump into Infusionsoft and let's go Back to campaign, back to list. Let's go now and type in delete. There I am. And let's go look at my, uh, let's see, custom fields. And look at that. There it is. UTM source Facebook is now in here. And that's all there is to it. So when you're doing this, um, you should already be doing uh, UTM lead-in URLs. Um, if you're not, you should really be doing that because it can really up your Google Analytics game and really give you some insight. Uh, but this is just another way to take that data, bring it into Infusionsoft so you can have some more um, actionable information um, on a customer and you can, you can do a search and say, let's see who all has come in through Facebook or Google ads and or who all responded to this one campaign if you were to use the other, you know, the other four UTM parameters and really kind of drill down and figure out, you know, where your best customers are coming from and uh, what actions they're taking. Um, are Facebook people, you know, more apt to become your best customers or, you know, is it Google? Is it uh, some other, is it Twitter? You know, figure out where they're coming from, what they're doing. Uh, so it just gives you the one little bit more to insight so you can connect their, their actions inside your app to how they got inside your app. So have fun with that. And, um, let me know what you think. If you have any questions or if I've made any glaring errors, I'd love to hear about them. Thanks, guys.